Well, look what arrived today. My speakers arrived for my Peugeot Boxer. Um, these are the direct fit um, speakers that um, Eaton make, that they're in Germany. I found these on the internet. Um, let's see, it looks pretty good. It's nice shiny uh, lettering on the box. It's a direct um, replacement kit for the factory speakers in theory. We'll find out when I get to fit it. Um, so you'll see that if you look on the side of the box it kind of says that here. Um, it's got German on the left and then English on the right. It's a little hard to read for my eyes these days. I don't know how it compares to the standard speakers. I'm sorry if you can hear the dog snoring in the background he's having a sleep. But you can see plug and play for simple exchange. Um, um, for suitable for Ducato 2, Boxer 2 and the other equivalents as well um, the other manufacturers make um, Eaton made in Germany in sound we trust okay, made in Germany so here we go we'll see what they're like when we get them fitted a little bit of a sneaky preview so inside we have a manual um, which um, is actually in German and in English as well um, I had a bit of a look earlier and the translation looks fine. Some of the spelling and stuff's a little bit out in places, but it's absolutely fine. It's all perfectly readable and it looks like it's extremely straightforward. Um, it takes you through basically popping the grill um, off um, each door, um, disconnecting the connector, unscrewing the, uh, uh, the speaker first, obviously, before you can disconnect the connector. I think you need like a trim tool, or it, I think it suggests a, a tire lever um, uh, somewhere to actually pull the trim off. I've had tried, tried to pull the trim off the um, speaker with my fingers, but I, I can't do that. But I do have a trim tool uh, for some work I did once before. Um, and then you basically, uh, it can be as simple as putting the speaker in place. Uh, by connecting it up into the factory uh, the factory connector screwing it in and that's it I've actually got some um, like dynamite it's not actually dynamite I've got them from Amazon but another equivalent and also like some sealant as well that I'll be uh, uh, putting in uh, to try to sort of deaden things and improve things a little bit further as well um, uh, so the, the main speaker is as simple as that um, the installation of the tweeter it actually does um, talk about if you've got the uh, the the Remo blinds in here as well, um, the curtains on the front, because um, I think these have really thought about um, the motorhome market. Um, so it gives you two options: one to replace the tweeter within the um, housing itself in the factory grill location here, or it also um, suggests that you could also, if you didn't want to do that. Um, on the following page um, you can mount the tweeters on the dashboard if you would like um, but you just need to make sure that you keep enough clearance for the uh, the blind um, to move um, out by placing the tweeter um, down there like that um, you still need to run the cable into the uh, original tweeter um, cable as well um, it also suggests if you're going to connect it into the put it into the original curtain location that you use some hot glue to stick it in place i don't know whether i'll need to be needing to do that i don't actually have a glue gun um so i'm going to actually have a look and see how it fits in clips in place um it just goes into a little bit more detail on the back here i've mounted it in this is a picture of the tweeter here uh, with the connector on it um it's, it all i've had these out of the box briefly it all looks very very nice uh, and a good some good weight to it uh, but I'll do another bit of a, a video to continue uh, when I get them out of the box later on. Hopefully get them fitted at some point over the weekend. Um, so this is a specification. I don't know how it compares to a stock speaker um, at all. Um, but for the, the radio, the standard radio, I would imagine that the powers are sort of probably not even at that sort of range. Um, so they can certainly take some amplified power. The imped impedance is a little bit lower than I would um, expect for speaker. They're usually 4 ohms, so actually um, it's probably going to be uh, 
um, up a little bit on the power compared to some speakers and maybe a little bit more sensitive i'm not that familiar with these uh the, the sensitivity um ratings to be honest 91 db i did use to know about that sort of stuff but i can't recall um so yeah there we go that's what they look like bit of a preview of what they are in the box here so um this is just um like two fingers to lift the, the top cover up and then this is the main speaker two main speakers um here which is the six and a half um inch speaker i'm gonna pull the box out a little bit the package at the side um, is the tweeter and I just pull this out of the packet and see the tweeter and um, you see it's got um a little ring here that is the dashboard mount with the eaton logo on it it's actually angled it's uh it's it's uh deeper at one end than the other or thicker at one end uh, to the other um, if you put it on the dashboard i'm not sure how you would mount it um, there's obviously some screws there you could screw into the dashboard presumably that's what um, you should be doing so i don't know if i'm a fan of that or not to be honest um, and then the tweeter itself um which feels really lovely it's got a really nice uh, uh nice grill which i'll put put down as i will put it in the, in the market as of any good quality speaker that I've ever come across, I would say that that is, uh, it feels very, very well made indeed, than it is uh, from Germany. Um, and the connectors here, it's all it's all nicely, sort of like a factory kind of um, uh, wiring wrap around that, and then presumably there's some sort of adapter, and it feels like there's actually something, there's something fitted in there around this heat shrink. Um, I don't know if they've done some sort of conversion there which makes it ready for the Fiat connectivity but this in theory should be the Fiat connection um, for the tweeter directly into the uh, you know, the factory mounting place um, you can see the tweeter, it's a one inch tweeter um, it's 8 ohm is the tweeter if that makes much of a difference to anything um, well, the dog's really snoring really loud um, yeah it feels really quality that feels really nice um, and then the speaker if i just try to uh, open the speakers a little bit here it's all very very well packaged just take this out of the bag i'm doing this a bit one-handed on my iphone i'm sure it could be better done but Hey, oh, um, there aren't many videos around on the eat, and certainly in English, um, so hopefully you'll appreciate it anyway, despite uh, the rough and readiness of this. Um, so yeah, you can see the speaker, it's a nice rubber um, sort of surround on the speaker, um, which feels lovely. I, I think they've called this butyl on some speakers, I don't know if this is the same thing, but it's not a foam like some, some are, it feels more of a, a, a solid, a, a good solid rubber. Um, the cone's supposedly paper, but it, it's not like a a thin paper it's a thick paper and it's it says it's a coated paper i can imagine it's got a really good seal on that if yeah i haven't had the stock speakers out yet but compared to speakers that i've seen before it's um certainly good quality um some speakers you'll have more of a metal basket this is a plastic uh, basket on the rear if i turn this over which i'll mention in a second um but you'll see it's, it's actually got um all the, the screw locations and the actual molding which should be the same as the, the factory uh, uh, Fiat or um, in my case Peugeot uh, locations they've got a nice weight to them definitely got a nice weight to it it's a decent size uh, magnet on the back and it's got um, it's got a hole in the back as well which if I remember rightly in the past that's actually a good thing because it helps with some cooling it helps with the performance of the speaker supposedly um, there's the connections on the back there, which I haven't seen the factory connections in the stereo yet, uh, in the the, the, uh, the door locations, but um, in theory that should just uh, connect up. So it's clearly a, a pos and, uh, positive and negative uh, connection there from the, the speaker connection in the factory location. Um, so you can just see on the back, it's just three ohms, um, Eaton car audio made in Germany. Uh, and this is the 2.2, upgrade option um in the uk i could only really find the the 2.1 option which was slightly cheaper um this has cost me about 60 pounds in customs 
Um, so I think you have the VAT. You have the VAT to pay the UK VAT, which will obviously be twenty percent. Um, and then you have um also uh, some customs charges on there. It came to about sixty four pounds, something like that. And these speakers were in the in the order of about two hundred and thirty euros, something like that. So I would say all in, you're probably uh, currently uh, uh, looking around the sort of two hundred and fifty to two hundred eighty pound mark, something like that. Um. But uh, they do fit in the factual locations and not having to modify anything in theory, and that's part of the beauty of it, as I can see. So, fingers crossed, I'll get them fitted and uh, see what they, the, the sound like. Um, I found the factory speakers to be quite woolly, not particularly clear. Um, I'm not sure if that's down to the quality of the tweeter or the code or a mixture of both or the stereo, um, but I'm sure these will be uh, a, a definite upgrade on the, the, the clarity. Let's, Fingers crossed, see how they go when I get them fitted. There you go. So, this is the Eaton Fiat um, UG uh, 2.2 upgrade kit um, for Ducato um, Boxer, uh, Fiat Ducato uh, Peugeot Boxer Citroen Jumper, and also if you're in the States, you have the Dodge uh, uh, Pro Master as well, which is uh, based on the same van. It fits them all. So, there we go. Cheers.